Hello, everyone. I'm glad you're here. I need to get this out to you as quickly as possible so you can prepare accordingly. Tomorrow, something is happening in Washington, D.C. that you need to be very aware of because it's a pivotal moment in this crisis with Ukraine and Russia and the instigation of World War III. What is going on is the signing of the Lend-Lease Agreement, the Lend-Lease Act. It is a bit of legislation that has been passed by both the Senate and the House. It is on the desk of our president, Mr. Biden, to sign. And what it does is it fast tracks weapons, medicine, aid to our allies while they're in war. It will fuel this war going on between Ukraine and Russia. Now then, this act has not been instated since World War II. Now think about that. You think about all of the conflicts we've had, including Korea and and Vietnam. Those conflicts, we did not put this act into effect, and then lo and behold, we're putting it into effect now. If you don't think our leaders are leading us into World War III, I think you're blind. They want this war. I don't quite understand why yet, but when I figure out figure it out, I'll let you know. So this is being signed on May 9th. Also on May 9th, Russia is celebrating their Victory Day, which is their victory over the Nazis, World War II. Do you think Joe Biden knew that this would be like pouring salt into a wound? Oh, I do. I do. Do you think Mr. Putin's going to sit around and just take it time after time, these in-your-face events and comments and admittance? They admit that we, we were part of sinking their ship. Biden admitted that day before yesterday, that we had a hand in sinking their warship. Do you think that's going to go over well? No. That's pouring salt into a wound and it's just going to escalate everything. So I recommend you take a look at your preps and see what you have and see what you need to go get. If you need baby formula, which there's shortages of, get as much as you can each day and stock up. And if you need to have your neighbors go get you some because you're limited to how much you can have in your area, do that. Do not feel bad about getting what you need to help your family through what's coming. And quite frankly, I don't know what America will look like during World War III. But I tell you one thing, I don't want to sit around being hungry. I've got enough coffee to make sure I don't have a caffeine headache while I'm sitting around without any toilet paper. You better believe I've got a crap ton of coffee and I've got even more toilet paper. I saw what happened during the pandemic panic buying. You don't want to be part of that. Go under the radar as much as you can so that you don't draw attention to yourself when you go get your preps. If you can buy them online and have them delivered, do that. But you need to get ready because we do not know what is coming. But the red flags are there that this is going to escalate. And you need to prepare accordingly. That's all I've got right now. I'll bring you more as I hear it. Stay close to God. I'm out.